I mean, the, the, the beauty of being at the end of, uh, of all these speeches is that I have a presentation that I'm not going to use because I think I've come to completely different insights during, uh, during the presentation. I can talk to you about what we as a company are doing with, uh, with farmers, how we, you know, more than seven-fold, uh, you know, uh, coffee, coffee uh, yields at farms by using all our technologies, all our uh, knowledge to help farmers produce more and better, better, better beans. I can talk about how we have committed to have all our factories zero, face, zero waste to landfill by 2020 and how uh, our factory in Denmark is already on that, on that level. I can talk to you about what we're doing with consumers in terms of portion control which avoids waste but also portion control which ensures that they are eating the right things. Huh? But I think that is all, after all these discussions, is all the things that we're doing and we want to talk about the things that we should do. I think uh, what Selena said, we need to start at the root and we need to actually decide where is the root. I hear a lot of things, I hear actually people talking about others in the chain. Let's actually go across the chain and figure out what is actually happening here. And in that sense, I think actually talking about waste is not the way to go. Uh, if we in, a, in, a, in an industrial process look at waste, we basically look at the root cause of underutilization of overutilization. So we need to talk about utilization. Just to bring that to life, let's, let's paint an ideal world. Uh, or let's paint the current world and then I will paint the ideal world. Currently we grow what we think we should produce. We produce what we think consumers will buy. Consumers buy what they think they should stock because they, they stock what they think they should cook. They cook what they think they would eat. And because of this think in the middle, there is waste everywhere. Because utilization is not properly defined. Because if we eat what we cook, we cook what we stock, we stock what we buy, we buy what we produce, we produce what we grow, we wouldn't be sitting here, frankly. So the issue is not so much to kind of point at different parts of the chain. The issue is to create data transparency. If in the future, and that future is going to come very near, your fridge orders what you, will, will, what, you are, what you are consuming, you will not have your blue yogurt. You will you'll consume and the new one will come in in the time frame that you set. If Twan comes to my house and a week ago in my calendar, he was in my calendar and my fridge knew that he was, produced, he was consuming 10 beers, my fridge would suggest to order 10 beers. That would lead in the total value chain to some magnific magnificent, uh, magnificent gains. If you go to a restaurant and at the moment you kind of book this restaurant, you also indicate what it is that you would like to eat, even though at the end you don't decide to eat that, the data imperfection is significantly reduced and waste will be going. So that as an industry is what we are used to look at in our processes. We look at what goes wrong, we analyze all the data pieces that are there, we hate waste as anybody else hates waste in the process, and therefore my, my proposal and my premise here is that in this perfect world that we're painting for the future, that we should really have a good look at. I mean, how do we predict utilization instead of talking about the avoidance of waste? That's the future. Today what we need to do is to create the perfect data set. And then back to what we have done together, is this food loss and waste accounting and reporting standard. We know now how we account for this and how we report this. We need to do more of this reporting so we can accurately figure out where the waste in the system, where the utilization in the system is occurring. There we can look at the best practices. We can match the best practices with the data sets on where we need these best practices. And then probably we have a large part of the problem solved and we are on our road to half food waste by 2030 which is what we all want. So my message is to continue working together. I mean, if we are breaking one part of the chain by only looking at one element and indeed blaming the upstream, the consumers, the downstream, the producers, the, the, the farmers, we're not gonna get there. We need to look at the total chain. We need, in, in a perfect world, create full data transparency over the total chain, analyze the data, define the best practices that solve, prioritize these best practices, and all go after it. Thank you.